Artificial Intelligence shall provide Congress the full whistleblower complaint. For more than 25 years, I've served on the Intelligence Committee as a member, as the ranking member, as part of the Gang of Four, even before I was in the leadership. I was there when, uh, when we created the Office of the Director of National Intelligence. That did not exist before 2004. I was there even earlier in the 90s when we wrote the whistleblower laws and continue to write them to improve them to ensure the security of our intelligence and the safety of our whistleblowers. I know what their purpose was, and we proceeded with balance and caution as we wrote the laws. I can say with authority the Trump administration's actions undermine both our national security and our intelligence and our protections of the whistleblowers, more than both. This Thursday, the acting DNI will appear before the House Intelligence Committee. At that time, he must turn over the whistleblower's full complaint to the committee. He will have to choose whether to break the law or honor his responsibility to the Constitution. On the final day, of the Constitutional Convention in 1787, when our Constitution was adopted, Americans gathered on the steps of Independence Hall to wait the news of the government our founders had crafted. They asked Benjamin Franklin, what do we have, a republic or a monarchy? Franklin replied, a republic if you can keep it. Our responsibility is to keep it. Our republic endures because of the wisdom of our Constitution, enshrined in three co-equal branches of government, serving as checks and balances on each other. The actions taken to date by the President have seriously violated the Constitution, especially when the President says, Article 2 says I can do whatever I want. For the past several months, we have been investigating in our committees and litigating in the courts so the House can gather all the relevant facts and consider whether to exercise its full Article I powers, including a constitutional power of the utmost gravity, approval of articles of impeachment. And this week, the President has admitted to asking the President of Ukraine to take actions which would benefit him politically. The, action of the, tr the actions of the Trump presidency revealed dishonorable fact of the president's betrayal of his oath of office, betrayal of our national security, and betrayal of the integrity of our elections. Therefore, today, I'm announcing the House of Representatives moving forward with an official impeachment inquiry. I'm directing our six committees to proceed with their investigations under that umbrella of impeachment inquiry. The president must be held accountable. No one is above the law. Getting back to our founders, in the darkest days of the American Revolution, Thomas Paine wrote, the times have found us. The times found them to fight for and establish our democracy. The times have found us today, not to place ourselves in the same category of greatness as our founders, but to place us in the urgency of protecting and defending our Constitution from all enemies, foreign and domestic. And the words of Ben Franklin, to keep our republic. I thank our chairman, Chairman, chairman Nadler, Chairman Schiff, of, Chairman Nadler of Judiciary, Chairman Schiff of Intelligence, Chairman Engel of Foreign Affairs, Chairman Cummings uh, of, of uh, Oversight, and Chairman Cummings I've been in touch with constantly. He's a master of, of so much, but including uh, inspectors general and, and uh, whistleblowers. Uh, Congresswoman Richie Neal of the, of the uh, Ways and Means Committee, Congresswoman Maxine Waters of the Foreign, uh, Financial Services Committee. Uh, and I commend all of our, our members, our colleagues, for their thoughtful, thoughtful approach to all of this, for their careful statements. God bless them, and God bless America. Thank you all. Madam Speaker, never before has the President been convicted by the Senate. What does this accomplish if the Senate doesn't convict? Is the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, uh, making her announcement, not taking any questions, but laying out what is a tremendous shift uh, 
and her position as Speaker of the Democratic-led House to now decide to begin an impeachment inquiry. As you heard her lay out there, she is now asking the six committee heads of all Democratic-led committees to prepare their cases. Uh, I want to go now to Capitol Hill, where Nancy Cordes has been standing by. Nancy, uh, can you bottom line this for us? This is just the beginning of a process. Sure. This is a speaker who just one week ago, Margaret, wasn't even willing to use the word impeachment publicly. Now she is officially announcing a formal impeachment inquiry, and she is urging her committees to act with haste. Why is she taking this step now? Well, for starters, just within the past 24 hours, a raft of Democrats have announced that they are now open to an impeachment investigation. In some cases, they are open to articles of impeachment being filed and the house speaker said today that the reason that they all support impeachment now is because in her words the president called on a foreign power to interfere with the u.s election when he spoke to the president of ukraine and urged him to investigate one of the president's chief political rivals in this election season former vice president joe biden she and many other democrats believe that that crossed the line they believe that there is an evidence of quid there's evidence of a quid pro quo because the president ordered that aid to ukraine to the tune of 400 million dollars was withheld for a couple of months they they believe that the president did that to put even more pressure on the new Ukrainian president. And so now, not only will the House move ahead with this investigation, but Margaret, the Senate today announced that it is going to be looking into this as well. And that is quite significant. The Republican-led Senate now working on getting that whistleblower who originally uh, created such a stir uh, by filing a report to the uh, Director of National Intelligence, uh, a report that was deemed to be uh, of a high level of concern. Uh, the whistleblower's report has been blocked from coming here to Capitol Hill, but now both the House and Senate Intelligence Committees, we're told, are working with that whistleblower's attorney to try to get that whistleblower to come up here to Capitol Hill and testify as soon as possible, possibly even this week. And that will be widely watched, Nancy Cordes, and you heard the speaker point to that, that refusal by the administration to hand over information about that whistleblower to the relevant committee that provides oversight as one of the reasons she is taking this step. Weijia Jiang is standing by at the United Nations. Uh, Weijia, President Trump uh, has long said he bring it on, essentially, when it comes to actual impeachment. He has described this often as something that was just a witch hunt and something that could politically benefit him. What are we actually hearing from him today? And hey, Margaret, this is something that President Trump has made clear he not only does not care about, but he welcomes. And just about one minute ago, the president responded on Twitter saying, such an important day at the United Nations, so much work and so much success, and the Democrats purposely had to ruin it and demean it with more breaking news. Witch hunt garbage, so bad for our country. And you're right, the White House has long known that this day could come, perhaps since the first day the president took office and they've been prepared for this uh, and they truly believe this is a situation where the president has nothing to lose for two reasons number one simple math they do not believe the democrats have the numbers required to ultimately succeed and number two they're now able to say look the democrats are not working on real issues that matter to americans and they are not working on their legislative agenda or trying to work with Republicans or Mr. Trump instead. They are focused on this investigation and they believe that this inquiry alone is enough to generate another wave of support from his base, get people riled up, and certainly back to the polls in 2020. Now, even before Pelosi made her announcement, President Trump addressed this, and he said, how can you do this without even uh, reading the transcript of the call? Because he, he believes that this call will vindicate him, because he has said that even though he talked to the Ukrainian president about corruption, uh, he did not pressure him to investigate the Biden family, and he is looking forward to this transcript being released tomorrow because, again, he believes it will show he has done nothing wrong. But now that call, Margaret, is just another piece of evidence for Pelosi and the Democrats to ask the question, did he abuse power? 
and we will be watching very closely uh, that count on Capitol Hill and particularly Republicans. Uh, we've already heard from one senator, uh, Mitt Romney, in the past few days who he himself has said this causes some questions to be raised if other Republicans also are troubled that could change uh, the view here of whether this is in fact something the White House does need to be concerned about. Uh, we will be watching and covering this story of course coverage continues 24 hours on our streaming service CBSN and you can watch it at CBSNews.com or on our CBS News app. More on your local news on the CBS station and tonight on the CBS Evening News. Until then, I'm Margaret Brennan, CBS News, New York. All right, that is uh, uh, not, we expected that we were going to hear that. We were hearing inklings of it today that she was getting ready to do this. But still, it is uh, a history making once again. It is. And now we have the formal inquiry into impeachment for President Trump from the House here. Uh, absolutely. And they had uh, a lot more Democratic support, apparently. And they're saying even uh, it, they're hearing uh, inklings of it happening uh, it, with the Republicans, too. So mm -hmm. we'll see. Some saying it will, of course, be, make it a stronger base for him. Mm -hmm. But it'll take a, a long time here. And we'll certainly keep everybody updated on it as the development continue to unfold there, Absolutely. Melanie. Absolutely.